All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our Coffee Group ICP. Don't forget your coffee, so that's why we are here. So the main intention is to have a coffee together, so and then use the time then to share the information with you. So Absolutely. cheers. That's what we are here together today. So to present you the new Yaskawa product bundle. So we created a group of product, we bundled a group of product to show the functionality of our drive motion and product. So which is your 13 from System Slio, then we have a GA500. So we have two options there. And we have also a smart panel mandatory in this application, let's say in this bundle, is the, the passive card. So why it's like that, we will show you in the next slides. So which is the objective of this bundle? So we want to show, test and demonstrate to the market, to our customers, to our partners, how easy, yeah, it's uh, how easy and how good the components are interacting together. So the benefits of this bundle. So we have one brand. So it's so Yaskawa is bringing these components to the market. So the drive, motion, and control products with the corresponding accessories. So to make it also more interesting for you, so we put it there at attractive price. So all what you need here yeah, on the component side, it's included in the bundle. So we are not talking about the cables and the connectors. All right. So the cables and the connectors, you are free to get those uh, from us as well. We have these kind of accessories, but they are not included in the bundle. An important benefit is also that we created libraries that to make the application You don't have to do that from the very beginning. Please use the libraries custom we show you that's how it works. So some advice is about the purchase. So we, we don't have in this bundle one order code. So this bundle consists of several components. That's why you have to order the components so one by one. Send your orders to this email address indicated here at ycp at inside sales at yaskawa.com. So the bundle itself, the conditions are valid until February next year. So please hurry up. So it's limited also in the quantities. Option one. So the option number two, it's always the same. The only difference there is the GA500, and here we selected also a version with 200 volts. All right, so I think that's 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 all from from my side as an introduction. Okay, so uh, let's let's use this opportunity. So we made this tool for you. So not a big business that we are doing there, not a not a margin, it's an investment that we are doing there in order to give you some tools to go to the market and to catch the market and they are still potential for sure. All right, Costa, show how it works. Thank you very much, Andre. Now comes my part about the bundle. I want to show you how easy and smart it works with this bundle. We have here Slio 013 Compact with that drive GA500 and how easy it can be communicated via Modbus RTU. I show you now in this live demonstration. The next point is our CU PLC have 64 kilobytes, but we need to increase via, via one FIPA set card the memory because we need to use the simple motion blocks. Next point is uh, for the GA500, you need also a programming cable. And here you find where you connected on the left side on the corner here. Also for our uh, Modbus RTU communication, we need a cable and also a plug. Okay, I start now how we set the parameters in the inverter. And the next step is we need also to change in the J500 the memo bus for the Modbus. And these are the B1 parameters. Now I go a little bit also deeper in our SLU PLC. There we have also the init and the configuration for the master for the Modbus R2 inside there. And here also the character length, parity, stop it, and so on. All these parameters you can uh, set alone. Okay, and here come back to my init block from the GA500. 
you find here the parameters and so on and also for our axis you find here also the parameters inside them after that i have here also calculate for you the tickets in our watch table so i comes back now here to my application i show you also the first step the application exactly you find here also our power supply from the microsystem. This is also a new one and how you see it's not only to use with the microsystem, it's also with the CU system, also with the 300 and up to you for another system how you can use it. But I concentrate now to the bundle. I have here my CU 030, my GA500 and our motor that we want to bring to rotate. How you see here is great for our instruction. It's nothing there. Before I start here, I have make a factory reset from my GA500 and also my SLU PLC. The first one, before I start, is we need mandatory this set card, how we say, a FIBA set card, to increase the memory. And how we we put it in the slot from the, our PLC, you heard the click, and after that, our switch from the SLU PLC is to stop. We bring it from stop to master reset, and after that, we saw the LEDs blinking, and after a few seconds, you let it to stop and put it to confirmation to MRS. And after that, our stability is flashing faster. And that means it's uh, done without error our uh, oval reset. And we have now increased from 64 kilobytes to 122 kilobytes our memory. To make a memory increase, actually, for other vendors, in the case of PLC, you will be needed for example, to change your PLC because the yeah. PLC no, have not the sufficient capacity to do that. In this case, you saw already, so just put the correspond SD card, how far you want to increase the memory, the work memory, and then it's done. It's just a kind of licenses, um, how easy it is, just a master reset confirmation and that's done. So okay. what you have now is a CPU zero theorem with 128 kilobytes. Absolutely, it's exciting, exciting. Okay, the next step is now, the first that we have done, the next step is, uh, the project and also a benefit in our Speed 7 studio we have a lot of demo projects inside that not only for simply motion we have also for motion control we have also for FIBA specific blocks and we have also for another protocols inside there now I show you where you find it and how we can import in the Speed 7 studio and then we configure and we bring the motor to rotate okay I start my my Speed 7 studio exactly it's Started. And how you see here, this is the overview from our Speed 7 Studio. The latest version is the version 1.9, Service Pack 1. And here we want to import the demo project. I click here to import and appears a window. On the right side, you find a little folder. I click on this. And important is to know where are this demo project. And this you find on our install driver under program X. 86 double click under FIPA double click and here we have the speed 7 studio folder under public you have here the demo project where you can click and here is exactly that what I sh I mentioned before I have here all the demo project inside there for the device specific logs motion serial communication but in our case we use our the simple motion blocks here you find a lot of protocols and a lot of demo projects for Pulse Tray, EtherCAD, Profinet, and so on. I concentrate here for our Modbus L2. I have here uh, pre configure our GA500. I remark it and I confirm it here to the window. And then I can import in the Speed 7 Studio. This takes a few seconds and you see step by step what our Speed 7 Studio do at the moment. Here, the preparing and also saving all this data in the Speed7 Studio. A very nice feature is also you have here a bar. They have along a green LED. After that, everything is green. This is also for us that is uh, successfully without error. I confirm it with done. And in the same time, they load this demo project in our Speed7 Studio. So you see here maybe on the text that there are simple motion V1000 for the ones who know V1000 yeah, is the, the former uh, drive generation. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so the current one is the GA500 and uh, it's the same. Okay. Yeah, the projects are compatible. So that's why you, you were using V1000. 
you can use also GA500. We want to encourage you to use also the GA500. Yes, thank you, uh, Andre. The GA500, uh, the V1000 is the predecessor from the GA500, but the settings and the parameters is absolutely the same. They don't change something, only the hardware. And this is what I want here to show you. Okay, in our demo project, we have always a Slio 015 PLC inside there. What I do here is I have only configure a Slio 013 PLC. I double click on this. I minimize a little bit our screen. And this is also a nice feature, a photorealistic uh, hardware configuration inside there. And I change also the interface from our MPI interface to point to point and that you find on the left side and what's configuration on the function x3 you see here the forward we have always the mpi profit bus but i have changed it to point to point and then i can confirm in my speed 7 studio and now we set a temporary ip address that we can bring our laptop with our frequency to communicate how we do it so i have here a button on my uh, on the top the status bar device properties i click on this after that appears a device properties window and under accessible partners you find all the components in our network okay in my network i have only the slew plc and important also to mention here is the network interface what you need to use in my case i have a usb ethernet adapter please uh, select the right one after that, you have here also your IP address area from this network card from your laptop. In my case, it's the 10.0.0.100. After that, I can search in my network. I click on this. You have here also a green bar. And after that, you find the PLC in our network, 4 times 0 And this, we change it to our IP address area. That means I remark it, I change the communication settings and set a temporary IP address. For instance, the 10.0.0.20, you can use each IP address without the 100 because the 100 is our laptop. I can confirm and set the temporary IP address and at the same time, the research in our network and put the IP address to our new PLC. As you see here, they have done it. It takes also to search a little bit more time. You see here also a green LED along the time. Okay, after that, I remark this uh, PLC what we have, and we can apply these settings in our hardware configuration. I click on this. After that, the configuration has been applied. Okay, we can close the device properties, and I check if this IP address is applied, and yes, the 10.0.0 is in our project applied. Okay, very nice. After that, I can save my project. It's also important, very important to compile. So I go to my, on the left side on the project tree, our the slew PLC 013 under PLC program, PLC blocks. You see all the blocks from the simple motion. can transfer the hardware configuration and also the software configuration in our PLC. This on the project tree, I click on transfer all, then appears a window. I see also the IP address area in the same. Okay, I can uh, build up a test connection. And I see, okay, the text test connection are successful. And after that, I can transfer the hardware configuration and the software. I can close the window. We have tran transferred the hardware and the software. I go now here my watch table. I double click on this one. You find here the button from the status cycle. You see here also a green line. That means we are online. But we see here on the bottom the CPU are in stop. That's right. I can show you it. Our PLC now here in stop. I bring it to run and after that you have here in our Speed7 studio the change here the red button to a green button and our PLC in run. It works. It works, yes. 
and I can control it now. After that, I can execute here my init block. I remark it, right mouse click, I can control it. You see, the busy bit is on and after a few seconds comes the done bit. Now, I can show you on my GA500, the initialization is done. They read our instruction from this new PLC with the herbs. Okay, I can close this init and go to access control. And important are here are the velocity. They weight a velocity to access and also acceleration and deceleration. In our case, I have here 5000, that means 50 hertz. Uh, acceleration from five seconds and deceleration also from five seconds. For the velocity, the same, 5000, five and five seconds. Okay, and this is also online to our PLC, very nice. And now I can access, enable this flag. I bring it from zero to one. Okay, I have the access uh, enabled and you see here also the access enabled and ready. So the next step is we can uh, use the jog positive for so the right rotation and I show you in the camera also so it's moving already it's After moving a few minutes. and also here with 50 hertz, yeah, with 50 hertz. Mm -hmm. and the instruction come from our CU PLC with the simple motion blocks and it works so very good okay I go back to my PLC and I can stop my rotation and I show you in the camera. After five seconds, our rotation has stopped. Thank you very much, Costa. Thank you, Raul. Well done. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think so you, you realize, so it works, so how easy it is.